Okay, what's up everyone? So right now we're gonna go on with the first Not test run of this suit. It's the bowl nook and literally I just got this today. Roughly what it's like five o'clock right now, Hong Kong time. I just picked this up about two hours ago. Uh, I had to do a little work and now I'm back into it. Uh, intro is pretty good. You know, this suit actually kind of reminds me of that transformer called Cosmos. If you guys know what that transformer is like, it's like a turns into a spaceship. But anyways, here we go. And remember, this is the 500 cost level one. All right, here we go. Let's boost off. Oh, yes, right. We've got another guy on our team who's also using the same suit. Uh, I guess we can be, uh, you know, double teaming here. I'm going to go ahead and jet on. And so it is equipped with its, its, its beam weapon does charge. So as you can see, I'm charging right now. And uh, yeah, and it has two melee types. So we got double tomahawks it apparently has. And we got also two beam sabers, which is also quite nice. And it also sports um, some chest uh, shoulder missiles, I believe, shoulder missiles. So there we go. Nice shot. Um, there we go, 1400 damage. There we go. Oh, I gotta see a Gelgood. Galgo commander type in the back. I'll kind of avoid him. I don't really want to fight too many general types, but you know, I will if I have to. Okay. Yes, I know you guys are thinking you're taking some cheap shots there, buddy. Yeah, I know, but hey, the winning is winning, guys. No matter what method you use, okay, the best tactic, as long as you guys win the game, I think that's the most important part. All right, all right, let me go help you out. Ah, oh, let me go. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> The only thing always for me, whenever I try to shoot without actually doing the practice runs in like, you know, in the uh, practice course. Oh, ow, ow. Um, it, 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 it is like a give or take. Ow, ow. There's another one, there's another one with the, the new suit and he's already got his decked out in purple colors right now. Okay, get up, get up, let's get up. All right, all right, let's see what we can do. All right, come on. All right, can I take somebody out? No, all right. Go around. Okay, up. And by the way, we're playing an ace match, so this is where anything goes. Um, no matter how many points you are of difference, you guys can easily, we can easily come back or lose depending on who's your ace. Alright, here we go. Alright, there we go. Yeah, come on! Hammer time! Alright, let's finish him. Okay, good. Alright. Oh, something got me on the side. Alright, and yes, it's that Goku commander type, man. He really wants to kill me for some reason. Maybe I. Maybe he watched all my videos and just really hates my life. <laughs> just like, all right, let me see if I can help. Oh, ah Somebody shot me from the back. And who is it? Ah, oh, yes, it's again, it's Mr. Goku Commander Type. Thank you, Goku Commander Type. You got your vengeance. Can you leave me alone now, please? All right, here we go. Let's come back into the action, guys. I um, also found out uh, when I was looking through the skills on this suit, it's got actually, um, what is it, something with anti-jamming or anti-radar, something, uh, I'll have to look back into it, but from what I can see, I think it has the same, um, it has the same capability as a slave race where on the enemy's radar you actually show up as a friendly, but when you get it close, then of course you show up as a normal enemy, so basically you can see on our radar on the top right, um, you know, blue dots are friendlies, red dots are uh, you know, enemies. So I'm assuming if I'm kind of far away from them, I actually look like a friendly, but I'm not. Ooh, nice, okay, got you barely with my, with my missiles, my shoulder missiles. All right, let's get you, let's see if I can try to hack and slash a little bit. This is what you're made for. Ooh, ah, okay, slash! Oh, you dodged it! And, oh, you dodged it, let me see if I can get you back. No, okay. Uh, he's almost gone, he's almost gone, he's almost gone, you're around the corner. Oh, nice, okay, back, back, and all right, I'm gonna charge, and just, I'm just gonna do the old fashioned way. There we go. That's just, you know, that was bound to happen, guys. <laughs> all right, come on, come on, boy. All right, let's keep going, let's keep going. You can win this, guys, okay? We're about 3,000 points up, not bad. Um, so far, uh, I think also for this suit, um, again, like I said, the, uh, one thing that is not good is that this suit cannot, we cannot dodge roll. So, you know, I mean, um, and then a lot, not all the raid types can dodge roll. I mean, it was good that the, um, what, uh, what was the, not the most recent raid that we had to have a dodge roll? I forgot what the name of it was. But, like, for example, the Striker Gundam can dodge roll only if you go into its, uh, exam, that exam mode, or that, you have that mode that feeds them really hard, uh, for about a minute, and then, of course, you have very weak. Wow, Marisai, Marisai, he's got a very nice giant lance of some sort, he really wants to poke me with that. Alright, charge up, let me see if I can, oh, you stuck me, no, 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 oh, wow, ah, 
pierce me through the heart. Oh, it's almost like you're thinking I'm a vampire or something, eh? All right. All right, come on. All right, come on, guys. All right, let's see what else we can do. I think I'll go over on C real quick. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, seven, six, five, four. Um, and, uh, you know, so, I mean, overall, I mean, like I said, for myself, I'm not really too much of a raid type player. I mean, raid types, obviously, you know, you get in, you hack and slash, and you get out. Because obviously, you know, we know that the class is very weak against uh, jungle types, and most of the players are jungle types. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm, I tried to capture the point, but apparently he got back in. I should I couldn't see him, so I couldn't shoot him. And, ooh, you are the ace, got me. And I'm, you know, uh, that's right. I'm just gonna chuck those blood grenades out here. Do a little stunning. Let's stun. You like my stunning? Oh, there we go. All right, you can't find me now, can you? You can't find me, can you? Oh, oh you're flashing me around. No, I'm gonna fly up and high, and now I'm at a boost. Oh, go, go. All right, come on. Maybe I can somehow try to change this around and wait for the shooting. Oh, oh, boom. Yep, it's not easy to survive when you're out of your suit. They will find you, no matter how small you are. You know, it's just like squashing ants, and that's literally what you are when you're in soldier mode, okay? All right, let's get back in the action. Two seconds, one second, coming down. All right, we are only winning by a thousand point difference, so that is not good, because as you know, it just takes one ace kill, and that's it. You already lost the game, or you're already, you know, losing. All right, come on. Oh, that was bad. All right. Okay, all right, come on, come on, come on. All right, you know what? I haven't had a chance to use the double double bla uh, beam saber blade to show off that yet. I hope I can get a chance to do that real quick. Okay, wait. Okay, let's back away. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna back away because everyone is just basically, yeah, they're taking over our checkpoint, so okay. Let, if you're playing ace matches, definitely you guys need to be in teams and make sure you're with your team. Don't go solo in it, it is just definitely not worth it, especially since that when, you know, they become the ace or you have an ace. Um, the point difference is so high when, you know, when their ace, you know, has a, you know, target to kill you. So I'm just keeping my distance for the time being. Uh, 50. Ouch! Ouch. Okay, I kind of nicked you with my, my shoulder missiles. Not bad. Oh, and look. Okay, I'm going to back away. I'm going to back away. I'm back away. The ace knows that I'm right there and I'm kind of low on health. He's trying to get me. Okay. Ooh, okay. Another good thing is, okay, his beam, his beam weapon does, he does, he does cause uh, stuttering. So, you know, if I charge it enough and, you know, I, I zap him, he will stutter. Obviously, but then... You need to be pretty close, though, to hurry up and, you know, knock him down. If you're kind of far away and you take too long, then obviously if they have the evasive maneuver, then, you know, they're going to dodge out of the out of way. All right. Let's see if I can try to finally finish this guy. We've got 26 seconds left. 26 seconds. 26 seconds. And, oh, oh no, no, I'm going to say peek a boop peek a boop There we go. peek a boop All right. Wait. All right. Double tomahawk. And slam! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Time out, and we have won the game, guys. Fantastic. That was another successful test run with a new, brand new suit. Let's take a look. Mission completed, all done. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We, we, I, 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 wow, I got top individual score. I don't know how that happened, because, you know, obviously, I am not that good with this suit. I'll have to get a bit more practice with it. Hopefully, on the next video, I can show the combo where you do, do the double tomahawk and the double beam saber. Um, in my opinion, okay, so far, since this is a suit that just came out today, I think, I think for a raid type, definitely, um, it is, uh, it's quite devastating. It reminds me a bit about the Axe Zaku Command that also uses double hatchets or double tomahawks. This one does as well. So, you know, um, if you're a raid player, then I definitely think this is a must get for you for this week. Uh, because for sure, uh, I noticed that when I was playing a lot of times, people weren't actually trying to follow me because again, it's got, it seems to have the same ability as the uh, slave raids where on your radar, you're basically looking like, you know, a friendly. Okay, and that's confusing, obviously. I mean, we all in in the past have, you know, gone against slave raids and you see that, oh my goodness, wait, he's our friend. No, he's not. He just shoots you and then, bloop, 
he changes the color and then so far you're like, oh boy. But by that time, you're already taking too much damage. So, in any case, um, do I think it's worth it to roll? Yes, I do, actually. If you're definitely in for raid, even if you're not for raid, it would, good to, it would be good to have this kind of suit on there and just to try around because look, it's got, it's got two melee types. Um, it looks like it can take a pounding, even from a general, right? Um, it doesn't have dodge roll, but again, I'm sure that it suffices with its, again, damage. And you can, as you can see, if you guys can get them on the ground, you can really do some pain, guys. So anyways, that was the first test run. I think it's successful. I like the suit. It was lucky that I got it today. So let's see what else we can do. Hopefully, I'll put out another video with especially the new space map. All right? So until the next video, we'll see you later. See ya.